Hello. Oh. My name's Alex Miller. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, listen, really excited to be here. Appreciate the opportunity. I may be the only real retired person in this room. I did 30 years with the Dallas Police Department. I was a deputy chief there. I'm currently the chief of police for the Dallas ISD, where I provide safety for 160,000 students. We run a business that we are so excited about. You'll see the excitement in my voice. Can you see voice? Okay. But what it is is we are a ride service, and our ride service is called Bubble. I'm sure the people in this room are very familiar with Uber and Lyft, correct? We are not Uber or Lyft. The thing that makes us so much difference is that all the drivers that work with us are either current police officers or retired police officers. That is very unique and has never been done in the United States. We actually own our own vehicles. Uh, we pay the insurance. We pay the gas. We pay the freight. It's all on us. And then we pay the officers because they're employees of ours. Uh, I think that, you know, th something that's really important is that we're affordable, we're clean, people know what they're getting. Our drivers have all been background checked, uh, criminal history is done on everyone, they've all gone to the police academy, uh, they're either current or active. Uh, we know that that is something that, that's important to the community. Uh, we also know that technology is important to the people in this room and technology to the, country, to the people in the country, but at the same time we know that there's more to uh, technology than, uh, than just the, the technology. There's more to it. We want service. We want to provide a white glove service to a small area, which is what we do. Bubble operates in basically a four to five mile circle area. Initially, we started in the Park Cities, uptown uh, Preston Hollow. Uh, we've continued on from there. And uh, as we go, it's, uh, it's an exciting time. Unlike Uber and Lyft, where they've been kicked out of places like Austin because they failed to have background checks run on their drivers, you can rest assured that all our drivers have been background checked. Uh, one thing, I, want, I just want to hit the things on the right real quick. We do own our own cars. We employ the drivers. We insure our cars. Our app is patented. Riders have to be eight years or older. We are very popular. We've changed so much uh, with, with seniors. Uh, we do a lot with children. Uh, we have GPS tracking in every car. And uh, each of our cars is equipped with a camera, so you'll know what's going on. Um, my name's Alex Miller. Uh, on our uh, MOM on Bubble, we started in August, and we've gone up every month. And this is without an app. We're on the Internet, and to get the, to get the people that we've gotten is amazing. Uh, we have 800 We've done, I'm sorry, we've done uh, 3,000 rides as of a week ago. We have 820 registered users with credit cards, and that's all on the Internet, and we're waiting for the app to come out. We think we'll probably double in the first week. Um, we have, uh, income has gone up every month. We started with $8,000 the first month, and we just ended with 28000 in month. Um, with the projected run rate of 120 rides a day is what we're set up for, just because we have a four mile radius, uh, we're looking at one bubble making $1,100,000. Uh, we plan on having 10 more bubbles by the end of next year, so we think that we're going to probably make about $11 million in in rides. Uh, what we really didn't expect was 33% of our clients are over the age of 70. Uh, they have no place, they can't get a ride, and they don't want to take Uber, and they can't figure out the app. So ours is a three-step method. Uh, you guys see this guy, you know him. Uh, this is from an article from the Morning News that they announced when, uh, when I retired. You know, nothing gives us more instant credibility than being police officers in those cars. And I know there's some fear with police officers. People say, well, if there's alcohol involved, we're not there to take and enforce laws. That's not our job. Uh, <laughs> what's really amazing is that... Uh, yeah. can, Y'all can ask. Uh, we have a... Our app has an online tracking, so you can track your child when he gets picked up during the ride. And when they get dropped off, you get a message. Plus, you have the picture of the officer. Uh, the benefits of the app, we're going to, we're, it's, is a startup. I can't believe how expensive these apps are. But it's going to be a three-step process. Uh, 
Uh, Craig has actually trained all the people. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Hi. I'm really impressed. I have two questions. One, how far north will your next bubble be? And two, where are you going to find enough retired police officers to... Whether active and retired. Yeah, yeah please. On, on May the 4th, we put out a, a small invite to police officers. We had 105 police officers come and show up for the first uh, setting. Uh, and so I don't think having drivers for what we're going to do is a problem right now. Uh, we're, we're in the process of going as far north as Frisco. How many drivers do you need for both? We have 77 now on rotation. Uh, of that, just because, you know, our ridership's going up, we probably use a strong 30. And then those other ones drive like once every two weeks. Yes. Um, the good thing is, is police are as loyal as the day is long. And with this guy, it's, it's kind of an automatic. Okay. Um, the bubbles, is it like a, a round trip bubble or is it like if I get it in Highland Park, can I take it to Fort Worth or is it just a round trip um, the bubble? Our first month, you could have because we <laughs> needed the money. Uh, no, our, our model is built on a radius of Preston and University, a five mile radius. Our wheelhouse is a 10, 12 minute drive and it's usually a round trip. And the average cost is, because we the extra passengers, is about $24. This is what we're averaging now. Yeah, and, it's, and that's not the cost, that's what we're averaging, but it's $15 a ride, $5 each additional person, $17 for a child. The thing that's been, the, another thing is we have no surge pricing. We are the same. You get what you say. Rather than like an Uber and Lyft, if they jack you up on the charges because you want to go to a Mads game, our charges are going to be the same. Um, what is your con uh, company's position on current statewide ride share legislation that the legislature is currently Looking We're at. all for I mean, because we drug test, we, we uh, do background checks, so we will be in full compliance. And, you know, I think putting the camera in the car is so unique and something that no other rideshare group does. You should be criminal history checked. You should be drug tested. When you get in a car with someone, you should risk and feel comfortable that you're safe. And that's everyone that gets in that car. What about fingerprinting, though? They're fingerprinted because they're police officers. Are you in favor of fingerprinting with rideshare drivers? Yes. They have to be, they're licensed law officers. They have to do that anyway. So they're so, not, they don't, they're all for it. So your technology deployment is an app. Your app is coming out in a couple of months, is that correct? Yes, about a month and a half. We what? already have the driver app out. We need two drivers, I mean, we need two apps. A driver app and a passenger app. So with regard to that, are you going to be doing any type of technology integration to like OBD2 and, um, you know, you know, uh, the uh, the ability to go forward and do LBA uh, location-based services uh, for the drivers? Okay. I, it's, <laughs> that, is, that is over my, uh, my head. Uh, but Paul can answer that question. Uh, how do you pay the drivers? That's an interesting question. Uh, what you don't see on the bubble car is we pay them per hour, their employees, and policemen are not cheap because they can go get a job for $50 an hour standing at American Airlines, which he ran for 20 years? 18 years. I ran American Policeman League and American Airlines. So what we've done is we've taken very nice looking cars and we've got community businesses and that's what makes this whole thing work the community businesses advertise on the side and we charge for that to offset the cost of the policeman all right uh i guess two questions and then a comment one how much revenue do you guys have right now currently uh we just hit tw right at 28 thousand we got 300 and i think we're 300 and you have twenty-eight thousand for well, it started at eight, and we just hit twenty-eight. Yeah. Per month. Wow. Yeah. Are you guys raising money? We uh, we're the Frisco. Yeah, we are. You're you're only raising in Frisco. 
Well, the beauty, well, what we're doing is we do one bubble at a time. Okay. So each bubble, gotcha. the people that invest okay. in that one bubble. I have a comment though. Chance. You guys have a great, this is really cool. Your presentation doesn't do this justice. Find yourself a marketer to, to change this and yeah, make this will. better. <laughs> but it's great. 